I actually had somebody comment that they didn't like one of my hairs that was sticking out. So just in case you're watching, we're gonna do this. There we go. Oh yeah, there's a good one. <laughs> hey guys, it's Harleywood, welcome back. This is the M2R Pro. This is the S2R Baton 2. And if you take the two of these and smash them together really hard, you get the new Warrior Mini. All right, this thing excites me. Now mine actually has a different color clip, all right? I'll go into that in a minute. This thing excites me for the first time in a while. I was pretty excited about the Odin and a lot of you guys were. This one though, even more so. Um, I found it hard to fall in love with the S2R2. I know a lot of you guys did, a lot of you guys carry it every day, um, but I just didn't like it. I felt like the size was okay, but at this size, I've always appreciated a tail cap button on these lights. And the fact that it didn't, even though I carry an S1R baton too every day and it doesn't have a tail cap button, but that was the trade-off I was willing to make for that smaller size. At this size, I felt like there was no reason one shouldn't have it. And the Warrior Mini finally has it. So the S2R2 is 1150 lumens, the M2R Pro is 1800 lumens, and this little guy right here comes in at 1500 lumens. I'm gonna take all three of them out back in a few minutes and show you the beam patterns, compare them all at night, and give you an idea of how they stack up against each other. And as usual with an Olight flash sale, I'm doing a giveaway, all right? So all of those details will come at the end. All right, so my one point of contention with this is the clip and the bezel. Not necessarily those pieces themselves, but the color that they chose. This is one of my favorite S1R Baton 2s, and I love the contrast of the blue there. Okay, so kind of those blue accents. I really wish they had done that on the Warrior Mini. Uh, for whatever reason, they went with black. Maybe we'll get a special edition in the future. But for the time being, this S1R Baton 2 is actually broken. So I'm just gonna take the clip. Problem solved. All right, just look at the form factor there. The size on this is awesome. Let me zoom out just a little bit. The size on this thing is perfect, man. It's basically the same size, just a tad bit longer than the S1R Baton 2. And that's because they had to integrate that tail cap in there. Totally acceptable trade-off in my opinion. Let's go through the lumen levels. I'm gonna put them up on the screen here. Turbo is 1500 lumens, high is 500 lumens, medium is 120, low is 15, and moonlight mode is one lumen. And you can see the associated run times there. I do actually appreciate that the 1500, you get at least four minutes of that, unlike the Claris G15 that I kind of got after recently, where it advertises 4000 lumens, but it's literally only for about four or five seconds before it starts to step down. You can't call it a 4,000 lumen light if it steps down after four seconds. Now, that being said, the battery on this is not exhausted after four minutes, okay? That's just when the light typically reaches its thermal protection mode, and so it steps down in order to save your hand, save your pocket, and doesn't go Samsung on you. And there's your size comparison. M2R Pro, the Warrior Mini, and the S2R Baton 2. Okay, the configuration on this is pretty typical for Olight. You can half press for medium or full press for turbo. All right, there's half press, full press for turbo. Now that's mode one. There is also a second mode. So if I hold this button on the back and press the barrel button, now you can see I can half press, oops, half press for turbo or full press for strobe. Half press for turbo, full press for strobe. To switch it back, hold the tail cap button and click the barrel button. All right, and now it's half press for medium, full press for turbo. And somebody's gonna be like, you can't half press. It's a press or it's not. Other than that, the operation's pretty standard for Olight, so press to turn the light on, and it does have a memory mode. Hold to cycle through the modes. So low, medium, high, low, medium, high. From any mode, you can double click to go to turbo, and you can triple click to go to strobe. When the light is off, if you press and hold, it goes into that one lumen moonlight mode. And because I know somebody's gonna ask, yes, this is compatible with the pressure pads. It's also compatible with the one from the Odin, so it does work, but this does not lock on like it does on the Odin. Now, as it relates to this flash sale, I'm gonna post all of the information in the description below. There's bundles, there's a couple different lights. I'm not gonna go into all of them. Um, there is a bicycle light 
I don't even have a bicycle and this one doesn't really do anything for me. So unfortunately, I'm not going to review that one for you. I'm sure you can find it elsewhere. They also have a new color of the Perun Mini. I love the Perun Mini. Okay. And they finally came out with the desert tan version. And then they also have the i3T EOS in this new limited edition red color, all right? And then there's various bundles of all of these. Now, full disclosure, if you use my links in the description below, I do get 10% of whatever you purchase, all right? There's also a promo code for 10% off. Promo code does not work on sale items, all right? So if you add items to your basket that are on sale, you cannot use the code. It'll work on any other item or when the flash sales aren't happening. So. After the flash sale, for example, if you're watching this video and you want this Warrior Mini, use my code for 10% off. I will post a link in the description below to my review of the Perun Mini. Unfortunately, they still haven't fixed the headband, all right? I did not like this headband. In fact, I took mine and I trimmed it down as I told you I was going to. Um, it's, it's better, but I feel like they could have they could have done just just use the h1r headband all right and you can find them still out there i don't know if olight sells them but they are still available so just search for it and you'll find it um uh, this olight just re-release the h1r all right let's take the three of these out back and see how they compare up first the s2 r2 this is 1150 lumens on turbo the barn is 61 yards from us so you can see that hot spot right there and if I go down, 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 there's kind of the edge of the spill. All right, move that off to the side. And here is the Warrior Mini. S2 R2 Warrior Mini. The Warrior Mini to me seems to have more spill or flood to it. All right, um, the hot spots are pretty comparable. It looks like the Warrior Mini is a little bit bigger hot spot. Temperature on the lights seems to be about the same. Very similar. All right, now we have the Warrior Mini on the left, and here is the M2R Pro. So you can see a much more pronounced hotspot, M2R Pro, Warrior Mini. Hotspot's a lot sharper, and it is a warmer beam temperature on the M2R Pro. Yeah, it appears quite a bit brighter. Again, it's mostly the candela and how it's focusing all of that light. But the Warrior Mini does have more spill to it, quite a bit actually. It's hard for you to tell on camera, but to my naked eye, the spill on the Warrior Pro is huge. When I'm facing it at the barn right now, the spill is basically hitting the tripod, the feet of the tripod. And on the M2R Pro, it's probably five or six yards out in front of the tripod okay so big difference on the spill and this warrior mini comes in a couple different colors so we've been looking at the desert tan version but it also comes in a limited edition camo all right they're only making 9999 of these and when they're gone they're gone i have tried to get olight to re-release limited editions but they do not because they said they want to honor the fact that they advertised these as once and done. And then there's a black version. Now we're going to do a giveaway. And if you're used to my channel, you know how this goes. Down in the description below, I'm going to post a link to my Instagram and my Facebook. All I ask that you do is go follow me on one or both of those and then post in the comments below and tell me where you follow me. That's it. You'll see this video on Facebook. Do not post in the comments on the Facebook video. Come to the YouTube video because I use an app that scans all of those comments and picks a winner on the YouTube video, not the Facebook. And we're gonna be giving away a black and a desert tan. So whoever I draw first gets to pick first and whoever I draw second gets whichever one is left over. And that is it. That drawing starts right now, as soon as this video publishes. And it's gonna go until 6 p.m. Eastern time on September 24th. That is two hours before the flash sale starts, all right? So I'll draw those two winners, and if you didn't happen to win, at least you still have time to get ready for the flash sale. Oh, don't drop it. I'm telling, it's drop rated. Let's see if it works. This is a concrete floor. Here we go. Boom, no problem. All right, if you're used to flash sales, you know how this goes. There's probably gonna be website issues. They work on it every time. The website's probably gonna freeze. The, the add to cart's gonna freeze. Just be patient. It's 28 hours, all right? If you want this camo version, 
stay at it. Eventually you'll get it added to your cart. They, I've been told that they're working on it. So that's it guys. If you appreciate this video, you appreciate the nighttime comparison footage, you appreciate the fact that I give away my flashlights to you guys, do me a big favor, hit that like, hit the subscribe, hit the bell icon so you know when I release new videos, including the video announcing the winner. Um, I've got lots more videos to come and I will see you on that next one. Good luck everybody.